we have just one exercise for this topic that you have to perform. You have to write a C program in Linux environment and in that program you have to write, you have to do two things. You have to first make an infinite loop and then you have to write a custom signal handler, a, a function that you have, that you will be writing. That custom signal handler should handle four signals and th those four signals will be sig term, sig kill, sig int and sig stop. And then that signal handler, that custom signal handler should display whether these signals can be handled or not. And afterwards you will run your program and then using another terminal you will send these signals through your processes PID. So you will run your process. When you run it, it will definitely be assigned a process ID, PID. You will find that out using that grab command we just learned. And then you will send these signals through another terminal. So this for this question, I will solve it for you for these two signals, sig term and sig kill. So I'll solve it for you for these two. And the rest is easy. If I solve it for these two, you can easily do it for sig int and sig term. So actually there will be some uh, lines if else statements. So if I write if else statements for these two signals, you can easily write them for the algorithm. First of all, let's discuss the algorithm. How will we do this task? And then we will um, discuss the solution for the first two signals. Okay, the algorithm is first of all, you will write an infinite loop in C language. And then what will you do? You will include the header. Obviously, you will do this first. You will include the header file signal.h and then you will call this function signal which is written actually in this header file um, like this. This is the uh, prototype. This is how you will uh, call it and uh, why will you call it? So that you can catch the signal you have to send and actually um, by calling this uh, function we will be registering our custom signal handler with the kernel. And then later I, I'll, I'll discuss the solution so you'll understand it better in what we have done in this, uh, in this third step. So the fourth step is you will write your custom signal handler function uh, below the main function obviously and you will write the prototype before main. So always uh, follow the conventions. You write the prototype before main and then you, you always define the function after main, main program or main function uh, of your program. And then later on uh, as a fifth step you will compile by typing this statement. You are familiar with this statement. You have done two other laboratories with, in, in which you have done this particular part. What is this? This is how you compile a, uh, a file of C language, a, a program of C language. So you will write gcc space dash o file name and, and this is the name of your exe file and this is the name of your C file. And then in the sixth step you will execute it using this command dot forward slash and the name of your exe file, the name that you have written here. 